It doesn't make sense to have a team, Stephen A., with Westbrook and Kemba in the backcourt if Clay Thompson's available. You would not have Westbrook and Kemba. You would choose Clay either over Westbrook and Kemba if you're constructing a team. He is a great defensive player. He is a, one of the greatest shooters who ever lived. And for that level of 3 and D guy, he can also really ball. I agree with Clay Thompson. Well, I agree with him, too. And I think that the, the, the important point that needs to be made is that it's a disgrace uh, when you talk about what Clay Thompson brings to the table. And it's not about what guards are better than him or not better than him. It's about you taking the regular season into consideration. I would have put Klay Thompson. I'm not saying anybody deserves to be off of it because all the players can ball. But what I'm saying is I would have put him ahead of Kyrie Irving. I would have put him ahead of Russell Westbrook and Kemba Walker. Let me be very, very clear about that. I'm looking at Kemba Walker right now, who I love and all of that stuff because I love what he brings to the table. Kemba Walker hasn't been in the playoffs the last three years or whatever the case may be, even though, again, it's regular season and he's carried the Hornets on his back. We know that when he gets going, he's absolutely unstoppable as a scoring machine. He averaged 25 a game. But nevertheless, that's when he gets going. And obviously, his miniature statue is a defensive liability. Last time I checked, defense matters, and Klay Thompson is one of the better defenders in the game. I think people were holding the first seven games of the season against Klay Thompson when he was shooting 39% from the field, just 14% from three-point range, averaging just 15 points per game. He was awful the first seven games of the season. The last 71 games that he played this year, he averaged better than 22 points on 47% shooting from the field, 42% from three-point range. He's one of the greatest shooters this game has ever seen. He can defend four different positions. And not only that, he does what he does while recognizing he's a third wheel on a team. And for yeah. us to sit here, a panel of 100 writers and, and broadcasters, it wasn't me, that to cost this man potentially $30 million by screwing him over like this is sickening to me. And when I look at it, look at the things that we've said, Kyrie can ball. We know what all-world talent Kyrie Irving is. But you do now find yourself where his leadership was brought into question. I know of people who had conversations with Ky Kyrie Irving because they say, you better than that. You're a better leader than that. You're a better person than that. You're a better baller than that. Your body language on the court, your lack of inspiration to your teammates, et cetera, et cetera. They've called him out. Not me, but they've called him out about it personally because they got that kind of love for him. Clearly, Kyrie wasn't himself. Russell Westbrook, down in points, down in free uh, 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 field goal percentage shooting, down in three-point percentage shooting. And listen, he shot 29.8% from three last year, Max, and still it was worse this year Look, from three-point range for Russell Westbrook. Hold on, hold on. And he's down, free throw shooting all the way down to 65% from the free throw line. Paul George was doing major, major damage for the Oklahoma City Thunder. So I think that's a question mark. So we talk about Kyrie, we talk about Russell, we talking about Kemba Walker, all with question marks. And the person that gets sacrificed is a reigning two-time champion, three championships in the last four years, on the verge of three-peating, widely recognized as one of the top five shooters this game has ever seen. And we're going to trip over him rolling his eyes. We should be proud of Klay Thompson for not throwing up in front of all the reporters for sitting, for sitting there and getting screwed over the way that he did. The bottom line is, think of the players you just compared to Clay, From Kemba Walker to Paul George. Like, what is Clay? He's getting, when you say screwed over, he's getting screwed over by the system that they do this, right? Like, he's a, he's a two-way wing, three and D guy. I'm he's not even not thinking a, about all of that. He's not a combo guard, but that's what happened. They took... They took point guards instead of and, and considered him as competing with the point guards instead of the, his real competition is Kawhi Leonard, who's better than him, Paul George, who's better than him, and KD, who's better than him. Who else does that job better than Klay Thompson? Right? And uh, nobody. So is it just Jimmy Butler? Like, these are his – these are really who he's competing against. But somehow in this system, he's competing against Kemba Walker. And think of it this way. You're trying to win a championship, Right? You want Kemba Walker or Klay Thompson? You want Russell Westbrook or Klay Thompson? Klay Thompson is a guy with whom you can win a championship. We've seen it. He doesn't need the ball, but he does damage with it. 
He can defend your but, other, the other team's but, best wing player. He's six but foot Max, seven and one of the greatest shooters ever, and he's a great team player. He should be on the but, but, at but, least but, the all third team. But, but, but Max, here's the, here's the thing, and I, I get all of that, and, and obviously I just made that point, but I got to tell you something. There's something else that I'm going to throw out here. Yes, we can make arguments for everybody because, again, they all can ball. But you have to understand, these, broad, these broadcasters and sports writers, you know the rules, and you know by leaving him off, you're going to cost him potentially $30 million. Now, does Klay Thompson deserve that? I understand that, you know what, K K Kemba Walker is in line for the Supermax, even though I don't think he's going to get it and what have you. But when you have something that close, that debatable, what about what, about what this dude does on both ends of the floor? Yeah. What about what he sacrifices? What about how we've given, we've given Chris Bosh and Kevin Love in the past major kudos for what they sacrificed for the betterment of the team Clay Thompson does that, and you go and cost him thirty million dollars. It's Thompson, disgraceful. It's disgraceful. Clay Thompson, it really is, is. A two or a three. There are three teams, so six slots for him. Tell me, six guys who can play the and you two look, or and three. You look at the six slots. You look there at aren't. the six slots. Here's how I look at it. There's five guys on each All NBA team. One, two, and three. Don't tell me fifteen different dudes well, he's not in the one. league. I understand that, but I'm just I'm just He's telling you how first, I look second, at it. 13. In other uh -huh. words, don't tell me that 15 different dudes deserve to be recognized more than him when he's a three-time champion. That's well, jacked up. <laughs> it really is. I'm sure he's upset about the money lost, as you point out, Stephen A. He did say, I'm going to the finals for the fifth straight year. Those count for something. Mm -hmm. Those matter for something. All right. Oh, by the way, Will, Yo. what as great as Steph is, what would Steph be if he didn't have Klay Thompson in the backcourt? to take some of that pressure off of him as well.